Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. We're going to get into some NBA action for the first time for the 2023-24 season. But before we do, I want to invite you to join. So you will have access to the VIP club section right here. And you see across the top here, we have a whole bunch of tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's get in, into some of this NBA action for uh, November the 6th. And let's take a look as we scroll down through. There's a full slate of games on tap. We're going to take a look at five of those games. Um, the first one we want to look at is, let's go down through here. San Antonio, Indiana, not that one. You can take a look at these at, on your own. The first one we want to look at is Washington at Philadelphia. Washington comes in ice cold down. You can see they lost their last two. Well, Philadelphia is burning hot winners of their last three, including uh, two Wins in a row in blowout fashion over uh, Toronto and Portland. You look at the over under Philadelphia involved in games over the line in three of their first four. Washington involved in the games over the line mostly as well. The score prediction has Washington, probably a little bit surprisingly, 117 116, with the confidence in the prediction of 76%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Philadelphia uh, a huge upward spike from plus 8 on October 29th up to plus 25 as of now, and Washington on the downward curve at plus 8. If you take a look at head-to-head -head matchups between those two teams, the teams split the meetings last year, both winning uh, one and losing one at home. The stability factor, how consistent are the two teams performing, you can see Philadelphia plus 4, Washington plus 3, and consistent meeting uh, with regard in correspondence with their favorite underdog status. So both teams have been highly consistent. I see Philadelphia being a home favorite in this one, and I do not see them losing despite what the score prediction says. I like Philadelphia at home in a game over the line. The Clippers and the Knicks, that could be an interesting matchup as well, but we're going to bypass that. We want to look at the Lakers and the Heat. A bit surprisingly, the Heat are uh, dead status and losers of their last four. While the Lakers are burning hot winners of their last two. However, Miami is still at home favorite 1.555 to a 2.222. And uh, if we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Miami on a steep downward trend now at plus two. While Miami has been, uh, well, Los Angeles has been up and down there currently at plus 12. The score prediction has the Lakers at a blowout by 117 to 103, with confidence in the prediction of about 73%. I'm not seeing it to be a 14-point contest, but what is interesting is the over-under. You can see the Lakers involved in games mostly under the line, and um, Miami two under and two over. Last season, the two teams uh, split the meetings, and Miami won the only game in the blowout fashion, while the Lakers held on by three points at home. The stability factors, we always like to take a look at that. Similar to the Philadelphia contest, plus four and plus three. So both teams have been uh, very consistent in that regard. I like the Lakers this time around again. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. <laughs> Milwaukee and Brooklyn. In this game here, Milwaukee's getting off to a relatively slow start at two and two, coming off of a 19-point loss to Toronto. While well, Brooklyn's coming in burning hot winners of their last two. If you take a look at the over-under, Milwaukee involved in games over the line in their last four, while Brooklyn involved in games over the line in three out of their last four, a pretty good chance that this game is going to be over the line. If you look at the score prediction of 109 to 104 in favor of Brooklyn, with confidence confidence of 67%, that would be probably a, an under-the-line score, although the, the line has not yet been set for this contest. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You've seen Milwaukee on the upward trend from 17 to 24, and Brooklyn also on a steep upward trend over the last few days from plus 1 up to plus 9. If you take a look at what the two teams did last year in the head-to-head -head matchups, uh, Milwaukee won, let's see, 3 out of the 5 games, with, but they only won, let's see, they were 2-1 uh, and one at home and 1-1 one and one on the road. I don't see much changing this time around as far as uh, Milwaukee handling the Brooklyn. It's not going to be an easy game. They're on the road, but I do like Milwaukee to come out on top in a game over the line. Let's take a look at uh, Boston, Minnesota. Boston, no doubt the, the top team in the NBA right now. Burning hot status. Look at this last game. 155 points put up on the board in a 51-point blowout over Indiana. 
Minnesota's coming in playing better than they had last year. I mean, they are 2-2, two and two, and they're coming off an impressive 21-point win over Denver at home. The score prediction has Minnesota by three points with an 85% level of confidence in the prediction. That's a bit higher than what I would expect. Um, if you take a look at the over-under, Boston involved in games over the line mostly, and uh, Minnesota mostly under. So teams trending on opposite sides of the line, generally that is a scenario I will pass on the over-under. Power ranks indicator, not much surprise here with Boston at the top here at plus 28. And you can see Minnesota up, up and down, and they're currently at plus 13. I do like Minnesota play a solid game in this one, but I don't think they're going to have enough to take down Boston. I can't bet against them as long as they're undefeated, as well as they're playing. Let's go with Boston, but pass on the over-under. And we wanted to look at another game here, New Orleans and Denver. You see New Orleans coming in burning hot, winners of four out of their last five, and Denver coming in burning hot down, suffering their first loss against Minnesota uh, by 21 points on the road. Look at this here. As, as high power of an offense as Denver has, they've been involving games under the line in every single game this season, while New Orleans has been under in two of the four. The score prediction here, you can see here, it shows 113-113. Obviously, it can't end in a tie. It just shows how close of a matchup this game is. But the confidence in the prediction is less than guessing a toss of a coin. Um, on the power ranks indicator, a steep up and downward trend for New Orleans. They're up to plus 22 at the moment. And uh, Denver, a little, Denver more consistent with their uh, power ranks. You see they're at 29, 28. Now they're back up to plus 29 once again. We take a look at what the two teams did against each other last year. You can see that it was two wins and two losses for each team. Both going one and one at home, and the scores were not really close. There was only one game under, well, two games under double digits, but the one was a nine-point game, and the others were blowout wins, both in favor of Norris. So that's interesting. In the games that New Orleans won, they were both blowouts. So how do I look at this game? Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator first and see what that trend is. You can see that New Orleans not consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at zero. Well. Denver has been very consistent at plus four. I like this one to be a Denver win. It's going to be close. It's, it really is kind of a toss-up game, but I like Denver at home in a game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for our first picks for the season. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.